Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Before moving onward from here, I want to change my formation a bit. Let's see, first things first, let, I want to put Ryu in the rear there, and for now, I want to start out in uh, normal formation there. Who's there? I like how they have that little emote there for showing that the characters are nervous. For boss time! And this one, we have to win. So, yeah, now we're getting into the real meat of the game. Okay, so for this fight, all three of the harpies there have the same attack power, but the one up front has a lot more HP, more than the other two combined. So we want to take out the two harpies in the back first. So let's go do that there. Now, one thing about this fight is when the harpies are attacking you, they'll always go after Ryu until he's dead, and then they'll go after Bosh. So that's something you can keep in mind when you're looking to heal and all that stuff. Ooh, a death blow right off the bat. That could be useful. Okay, now for the second round, they aren't going to be attacking us because of how their AI works. So I'm going to switch to Scatter so that way Bosch can get a little more damage in there and hopefully guarantee a kill there. And Ryu can heal himself with an herb. I don't want to use Guts right now because it wouldn't heal enough. And Guts can actually potentially fail. So you don't want to use it if your life depends on it. Now, for some reason in the second round, they start bickering and attacking each other. So that gives you a little bit of breathing room to heal up there. All right, got it. Good job. Okay, so now I want to switch back to normal and go after the other harpy in the back there. Now, one thing you might see here, I might have shown it already earlier, when Ryu gets attacked, ah, there it is, yeah. He can sometimes potentially counterattack, just like the first game there, and deal some pretty good damage there. Okay, now for this round, let's see. I'm going to have Bosh attack, and I'm going to leave Ryu up front there and use his Guts command, because I know that the Harpy will deal enough damage to reduce him below 25% of his max HP, which is 32, by the way. And thus, I will get enough HP restored from my Guts command there. If I was not below a quarter of my HP, or at a quarter, I would not get enough healing from Guts to offset the damage that the boss is dealing to me. And now I can just sit here and do this all day, as long as Guts doesn't fail. If it does, then what I would do... Oh. That didn't heal nearly enough. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I didn't get quite knocked down below a quarter there. Hmm. I'm going to use an item here. Because what could potentially happen here is she attacks. My, if my Guts Command failed here, she would be able to kill Ryu even if I had him defending there. And, well, yeah, that would be a real problem there. Maybe I should have switched to... What was that? Uh, scatter in the previous round, but whatever. We're at max HP now, so it's safe for Ryu to attack for a little while. Alright, got it. Yeah, not too bad. A little difficult at my levels, but we'll be okay. But anyway, hey! We got a new spell there. And, well, just like Final Fantasy games, Protect, it boosts your defense so you take less damage from their physical attacks. So, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I hope not. They just wanted a piece of that meat from Ryu, I guess. But, alright, let's move on then. Hmm, what's with that boulder up there, too? Hmm. Alright, here we have a, well, sort of a new enemy. Gunhead! I think these are different than the one... Or the ones that we fought earlier in the game. Hmm. Let me see how much HP these guys got. Let's see, Gunhead. Okay, they got 21, so Ryu might not quite be able to finish them off. Yeah, he's just barely not able to kill them. So, yeah, we're going to need Bosch to pitch in here and finish them off. 
And I should probably change my formation back, too. Okay, Bosh. Actually, let's just have both of you go after the gun head in case someone misses. I don't know. You never know. It could happen. Now, I want to be careful with Ryu's HP. If he gets below 20, I might want to start thinking about healing. And also, I know what you're thinking here is H.C. Bailey. You've got all that HP, or AP for Bosh there. Why aren't you using him to heal? And eventually I will, but I want to save his AP for the Protect spell later on because we're not going to have a healing point for quite a while. Okay, so now, let's see. Uh, well, I do want to go to Scatter, but I want Ryu to be the one up front, even though he's getting a little light on HP, but I think we'll be fine for now. Yeah, that boss fight would have been a lot easier if I did some grinding to learn Protect before that, but I didn't think it was necessary. But anyway, so we got this little boulder here, push it out of the way, and some changes happen. What's going on? Whoa! Yeah, unfortunately, that boulder just pressed the entrance to the healing cave, so, or the healing pool there, so we can't use it. Nuts. So, well, we gotta press onward anyway. And we're back into a high encounter raid area. Fortunately, Ryu's gained some levels that help improve his defense. Yeah, we don't even need to buy body armor for Ryu. He's fine with what I got for him already as it is. But it couldn't hurt to get a little more from a headband. Yeah, that's why I didn't buy one back at the store there. So, let's see. Headband. Yeah, for some reason in the English translation, or the original English translation, it was translated as salad bowl. Somehow. I... I got nothing, not viewers. But anyway, okay, well, let's use our heal spell a little bit for Ryu there. He took quite a beating, and I didn't get a chance to use a Guts Command at the end of the last battle. So, oh well. We'll be fine. Let's see, there's one more treasure I want to get around here. Yeah, this dungeon is pretty short overall. Just a few branching paths, nothing major to worry about. Now here we get, well, the firecracker that deals damage to enemies. It's one of those spell casting items. I'm actually going to be banning spell casting items like that. There's two reasons for that. Well, first, we got new enemies here. Corpses! Let's see, what can they do? Nothing special, really, there. So we'll just go all out there. Now, if I was at, like, level 1 or 2, I might have Bosch use his snipe ability because he really couldn't deal that much damage to these guys. But because I'm at higher level, I don't need to worry about that. But, yeah, there's two things about spellcasting items that I don't like. Uh, one of them is that they make spellcasters obsolete and I want to use more characters where I can and the other reason is because I think there's a bug with them on how the damage is calculated there are some enemies later in the game that are outright immune to all magic however spellcasting items bypass that magic immunity so I think that's pretty abusive to take advantage of and they're really not that good for the most part anyway so yeah I'm banning spell item usage like that Unless it's like a healing item or something, that's not really abusive. But anyway, hey, who's this guy? Oh. Darn, it sucks to be you, I guess? Uh, let's see. Eh, I'm doing okay on HP there, but... Yeah, I don't know what's with that guy. I heard there's like some hunting minigame with him later in the game, but I never really looked into that. Now, by the way, the path to the right was just cleared by the boulder we dropped there. So we could go back to New Haven if we wanted to. Might not be a bad idea to heal up, get your HP and AP going there. Let's see, there's a fishing spot on the north side of the coast there, but I would have had to get into a random battle in order to make that spawn, so I'm not going to worry about it. Not to mention I don't have a fishing rod. Hmm, I wonder what's going on in there. Well, first things first. Actually, you know, first things first. Let's go over this way. Let's see. I think there's... Ah. Okay, it's not here. I thought there was supposed to be something over there. And it's probably just my imagination. Never mind. Carry on, viewers. 
But I do want to heal up here, and I would like to keep at least 10 AP left on Bosch there. Hmm, how am I doing on healing rooms? Yeah, we're, we're good enough. I can afford to use one on Bosch, even though he's reasonably close enough to max, but I think we'll be fine here. But, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, well, let's see who needs help around here. Whoa! Nuts. Hey, how's it going? Burp. Boss time? Huh. Well, anyway, we got a whole bunch of cockroaches here. So, let's see. Let's go... I want Ryu to defend at first, because he can counterattack, so he might get something going. And... I would like him to defend until I can get Protect set up on himself there. Or, until Bosh can get that set up there. Haha! -ha! There you go! I knew you could do it, Ryu! Once I've got him buffed up there, then I won't really be worried about the damage she's taking there. And then we can just go all out against these cockroaches here. Uh-oh. Well, this could get a little dicey with so many of them attacking him. Well, we'll see what we can do. If I take a little more damage, I might have Ryu use Guts. I might have him just preemptively do that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. They won't be able to kill him. I hope. Okay, okay, we're still good. We're still good. Ha ha! Yeah, look at that healing. Don't even need to use a... What is it? But yeah, don't even need to use a herb or healing spell there. And the rest should be relatively straightforward there. Ha-ha! Gotcha! Alright! But can we defeat the mother of all cockroaches? And what about Susie? Will the next episode be entitled Orkin Man? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!